In our health alert tonight, influenza cases continue to rise with some reports ranking Michigan as the second sickest state in the nation. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with the latest numbers. Doctor? Sanu, I know that the flu is worse this year because so many of my patients, my friends and family have been sick with it. Now, the latest data from the Michigan Disease Surveillance Systems report that there have been 300,000 flu-like uh, disease, more than that actually, as of December 28th. And of those, over 30,000 have been influenza. Now, leading the way is the B Victoria lineage uh, virus. And this is notable because these types of viruses are unusual for this time of the year. We don't typically see this many cases until later in the flu season. So, Doc, why is the flu so bad this year? So Alan, the flu is actually bad nationwide, and the CDC is saying that the flu activity has not only been high now, but it's been elevated for the past eight weeks, and cases continue to increase. So why is the flu worse this year? Well, as you know, Alan, uh, many, of, many, of you, many of you under, 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 understand that influenza, influenza is highly contagious, but researchers studying viruses say that influenza is much more stable in cold air, and that's uh, why when the humidity is low, especially around 20%, it helps virus particles to hang on in the air. So if someone is sick, sneezes or coughs, little respiratory droplets that contain the flu virus can float around much longer than when the humidity is high. And doctor, are we seeing more deaths than usual? So new, the, the CDC estimates that there have been around 6.4 million flu illnesses nationwide so far, and roughly 55,000 folks were hospitalized and 2,900 have died. 27 of them have been kids. Now, looking at the percentage of deaths that have been attributed to pneumonia and influenza, it's been at 5.5%, which is below the epidemic threshold. But since the flu is widespread, I really want to remind folks to get the flu shot because the CDC is predicting that the flu activity will remain elevated through mid-January and possibly peak again in February. So please, please help protect yourself and your loved ones by getting vaccinated. The flu vaccine not only helps prevent millions of flu illnesses, but it can also help avoid potentially serious complications if you do get sick. So I tell everybody, if you haven't got the flu shot, please get vaccinated. Yeah, some very important information. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. My pleasure. And of course, be sure to watch the Dr. Nandy show this Saturday at 1 p.m. right here on Channel 7.